Well, Governor Asa Hutchinson will be going on a driving tour of all of the damage in Springdale tomorrow. We know one of the places he'll stop is this Nilfisk plant here in Springdale. You can see this plant was destroyed a week ago today in the EF3 tornado. We spoke to Springdale Mayor Doug Sprouse today who says while there's a long way to go, a ton of progress has been made in just one week. If you were to look at the area at 445 last Wednesday when I was first driving around in the dark looking at it versus today, there has been a tremendous amount of work done. The army of volunteers and groups and nonprofits and, and businesses, and neighbors helping neighbors, that, it's just been amazing. One week later and people impacted by the Springdale tornado have started making some progress, cleaning up what's left of their homes. All of a sudden the wind just picked me up picked it up and then it threw me clean over there and all of a sudden I got a hold of him and all of a sudden dishes and everything came all out on the cabinets and everything. Tomorrow the governor will tour some of the spots along the path of the tornado. I think he wants to see it and wants to know that that he supports the local efforts and the local community. He used to live here, you know, governor governor graduated from high school here in Springdale. So I know there's there's uh, there's also that 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 I'm sure I'm sure is in his mind. As everyone continues to clean up, they say they're thankful for the support. These people have came from all over and helped us clean and still helping us this very day. It's remarkable. It could have been so, so much worse. You know, a little different timing. When you see the damage, it's just, it's just an absolute miracle that nobody lost their lives. The mayor says the department, the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management will be here next week to start doing its damage assessments. The mayor also wants people who were impacted by this storm to know that the city will be picking up all of the debris, but you have to put it on the curb. It has to be in the city's right of way. It cannot be on private property for them to come pick it up. Reporting live in Springdale, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.